Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to do a brown winged liner and that's the only agenda today. I don't know, I just woke up feeling like I wanted to do a brown wing and that's what we're doing today. So I want to pin my hair back and wipe off this ointment that I've been wearing. Beautiful. So I'm gonna kind of wipe this ointment off. It's for my dermatitis. It really helps in making sure that the patches don't kind of just dry out and start flaking. And for skin prep today, I'm going to be using the Kesar and Kojic Daily Pigmentation Correction Cream from Dr. Shades. This is what it looks like. This little guy is amazing. I've been using it for a week now. Okay, so I had like gigantic pimples coming up everywhere on my face. I think it's because of the fact that I've not been able to use any of my chemical exfoliants for so long. My skin was just, it just didn't know what to do anymore. So I had a big gigantic breakout here, one here, a batch of small breakouts here. And similarly here, like this entire cheek is covered basically and some small kind of breakouts happening here. So the thing is, they were way darker. I started using this about a week ago and I've already started noticing some like differences in the kind of pigmentation that I've been seeing uh, after these breakouts kind of went away. So Kesar, you guys know, has so much to offer actually when it comes to skincare. It works in brightening your skin, it provides a glow and all of that. And combined with Kojic Acid, it is a brilliant, brilliant formula. So Kojic Acid is basically an active that helps to fade away any pigmentation. So any post acne pigmentation, uh, things like dark spots and kind of like uneven skin tone and all of that uh, stuff that we don't enjoy. Kojic Acid is really good at targeting it. And in fact, uh, the first time I ever was introduced to Kojic Acid was uh, through my dermatologist. Uh, and this is the one that I'd been going to back in like 2017 or 18. It was right after I had developed like actual like acne for the first time and i was prescribed like a whole bunch of things to like just apply and one of them was a kojic acid cream i don't think i actually applied all of those products the way the doctor asked me to which is why i was like this is not working take it away but since then i've come across kojic acid products that do work and this one is definitely one of them i really like the fact that it's a cream and the formula is so good that i can use it actually in place of my moisturizer and it's at a pharmaceutical grade potency level so it's got two percent uh, kojic acid which is not way too high so it's at the perfect concentration to be used every single day and i mean that because i have been using it every single day even when it actually apart from the kojic acid it contains one percent niacinamide which you guys know i love and it also contains 0.5 percent glycolic acid so while you're wearing this, it is also kind of helping brighten up your skin from underneath with the niacinamide. It's also helping refine your pores and all of that good stuff with the niacinamide and the glycolic acid. And it's also doing very, 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 very mild exfoliation every time you apply it. So I'll just show you what it looks like. I take about one and a half pumps almost because it is definitely a very hydrating and nice like nourishing formula. So two pumps can be a little much, especially considering that I'm going to be putting on makeup over this. So I don't want my base to be like extremely slippy uh, because the makeup is just going to rub off otherwise. And now let's get into the makeup. So because I just want to do a brown winged liner, which is I think it's going to be with like a cream product. So I think we can do our base first. Uh, we can do eyes later because there's not gonna be any fallout. And for my base today, I'm using the Huda Beauty. I'm gonna be attempting like a different routine to do my base today. I'm not doing my usual like correction and then foundation and then all of the good stuff later. Um, I'm actually like mixing and matching different shades of different products to make it look, make it make my face look a bit more three dimensional. Anyway, this is the Huda Beauty Four Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. So I'm just gonna take it and put it in areas where I have like some pigmentation because it's close to my skin tone but it has like an orangey tone to it. So I'm not gonna apply it everywhere. 
I'm also putting some of this on my eyelids now to blend it out. So I did my brows off camera because it takes a lot of time. I didn't want to waste any time. So anyway, I actually, before I do anything else, I want to put on some bronzer because my face is looking like an egg again. So to combat that, we put bronzer. Also putting some here because I like the look of that and underneath the jaw and the product that I'm using is actually the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner uh, the shade I can't remember I'll put it here so you can see on my screen on your screen I mean so about this liner actually I've scraped some at the back of my hand because I find it easier to work with uh, this particular formula when it's um, taken out like this and also mixed with a bit of Duraline to make it a bit uh, more emollient because this formula just straight out of the pencil is extremely long lasting so it sets very very quickly it doesn't allow you a lot of time to work with the product so i like to break the formula down with some duraline because with winged liner i wanted to have some like room for me to actually work with the product and not set immediately uh, upon application or even not upon application it can just set on my hand right here uh, without even allowing me a chance to actually put it on and it almost um, starts to behave like a liquid liner so it glides on very nicely just gonna start here And I'm not gonna draw the wing immediately. I'm gonna do the line on both eyes and then start the wing. And now for the wing, I'm gonna put a dot almost. And similarly here. And now just join the line to this point that I've placed here. It's not the perfect shape right now, but I'm going to leave it here and do this side and then we'll come back to this and fix this so 
so good tips for wing liner always look down into a mirror that helps you to see where to place it better the wing i mean and also use your pinky to rest on your cheek to kind of help make your hand a bit steadier especially if you're someone who struggles with like shaky hands placing the pinky on your cheek kind of helps to stabilize it now that we've completed this we have a guide to kind of uh, look towards so i can already see that this is going kind of like straight not straight a bit like angled up and this is a bit more straighter so we can definitely fix this i am going to be fixing it with some concealer but i want to get this bit right first and then we can shape uh, the outer edge i'm going to hold the mirror close because i can't see what i'm doing otherwise and now to fix it i thankfully saved some foundation concealer mix at the back of my hand and i'm going to take a angled brush and i'm using a bit of the foundation actually on the very tip of this angled brush and kind of using it in a way where it flattens out the tip so i can use it to kind of sharpen the edge again look straight into the mirror Now to blend it out, I'm going to take off the product at the back of my hand and use the edge again to kind of blend this. And that is the look. Um I had to stop talking there for a second because well, let's just say that the renovation stuff that i keep mentioning it's still not over it's still going on we hear hammers and drills every other hour from every direction so this is a great place to be home i just used a bunch of products and i did not talk about any of them so for all the products that i did not mention i will leave them in the description and i will also leave in the description the links to this product So if you're interested you can go to their website which is drshades.com and you can use my code trainer20 to get 20% off on your purchase and if not on the website you can check out their products on Nike and Amazon as well and that is it for me thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye